What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is WWE TLC 2018 edition. So as you guys know, TLC 2018 is upon us. It is this upcoming Sunday. Very excited for the show. I feel like there's 162 matches on this card. I could be wrong, but there's a there's a lot of matches on there that I don't even think the full full card is booked yet. I think there's another match or two that they could potentially add, so it's kind of insane, but I have added everything. I have the entire arena full from the WWE ring and the, the crowd into the backstage area so let's go ahead and get started with the backstage so right here guys we're starting off with the universal champion brock lesnar he is over here on his couch all the way at home this is just sort of his little home living room area right here um, I don't have, you know, a home setup here, but here's the TV monitor. He's watching with his Universal Championship and just laughing at everyone. He sort of has, like, an angry face, but he is laughing at everyone just because, you know, I mean, he's, he's not, he doesn't have to work. He's just chilling. He's just doing his own thing is at his house eating some steaks, chilling on the couch, doing whatever he wants, while uh, Trash Corbin is fighting Braun Strowman in a terrible matchup. So... That is Brock Lesnar, and he's just chilling at home with his Universal Championship. If we come over right here, you will see Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura, the United States Champion. He is confronting Shinsuke. You know, he's saying, I want a, I want a title match at TLC for that U.S. title. I think it's going to be booked um, tonight at SmackDown Live. I think they're going to make this match, you know, final on the card. I think... You know, I think it would be good for them, maybe the pre-show or something, but um, I thought their match, the last time they fought on the pre-show, I can't remember what show it was, but they had a really good showing. Maybe it was Crown Jewel, I can't remember, but they, they had a good showing. I enjoyed that matchup. And Shinsuke, if you'll notice, he has a smile on his face, and he's just saying, bro, what are you talking about? You know I don't have U.S. title feuds. They keep me off TV all the time. So that's what's going on here. If we drag it to the middle, we have the SmackDown Live. Tag Team Champions, The Bar with The New Day and Usos. Everyone knows they're going to have a triple threat match for the SmackDown Live Tag Titles at TLC. I wish this had a TLC table, ladder, even a chair stipulation. I just think that this match could use that, you know, the magic that the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, and the Dudleys created back in the day. They could, you know, pay some homage to those guys and have a great TLC table or chair match here at TLC, but they're not going to do it. They're going to leave it as triple threat. I would love to see, you know, a triangle TLC match or something, but I highly doubt that happens, but they, we do have all the teams arguing right here, getting into it, ready for their matchup at TLC on Sunday. If we come over here, we have Kevin Owens, and you'll see he is in the wheelchair because he just had surgery on both knees. He's recovering with his boy Sami Zayn. You know, they're both depressed right here. You can see Sami Zayn looking down. Uh, very disappointed. You know, they're not going to be at TLC. They're probably, I don't even know if they're going to be at the Rumble. Hopefully Sami Zayn's at the Rumble, but both guys are missing in action. I'm ready for both guys to return. I love both of them so much, especially Kevin Owens. So that is what's going on here. Back here we have the uh, newly crowned Raw Tag Team Champions, the uh, tag team of Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Um, you can call them Glorious Gable or whatever you want to call them. And they're hiding. They're hiding from the Authors of Pain because they know that uh, they got a little fluke victory on the roll-up there. And uh, they are current Raw Tag Team Champions, but they're hiding from the AOP because they know they're coming for them. So that's what's going on right there. If we come over here, we have Cedric Alexander, and he is eyeing the Cruiserweight Championship. Buddy Murphy, you know, nowhere to be found because we haven't had a figure of him just yet. But um, he is eyeing that championship. He's going to get a rematch with Buddy Murphy at TLC. I hope these guys tear it down. Hopefully they're not on the pre-show. Give them some main show time. They always prove that they can get it done. So uh, Cedric Alexander, my boy, is going to look to recapture that title. Highly doubt it happens, but you never know. So that pretty much does it for the backstage, guys. Now we're going to go into the arena where the rest of the setup is taking place. And right here we have what a match that I am very much looking forward to. Probably one of my favorite matches on the card and one that I'm most looking forward to. We have the triple threat match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. You have Charlotte laid out on the table. This is also a TLC match, so this is why they're in this uh, little setup here. We have Becky Lynch about to powerbomb Asuka, who's on the ladder, trying to put Charlotte through it, you know, jumping off. Uh, Becky Lynch is interrupting that, about to powerbomb her onto Charlotte through the table. If this spot happens in the matchup, well, you saw it here first from MDT. So uh, we have Asuka about to get powerbombed by my girl Becky Lynch onto Charlotte. I think that match should be interesting AF. I think it's going to be a great one. I can't wait for it again. Um, one of the most hyped up matches. I, I cannot wait to see that one take place. If we go over here, you will see Drew McIntyre, and uh, he is running away. He's crawling away. He's scared to death because the demon Finn Balor is coming for him. And I doubt they bring out the demon at TLC, guys. I, I just don't see it happening. However, I think that Finn Balor really needs this victory. 
So if it takes the demon to get it done, then get it done. I just think that Finn Balor needs some momentum. He just, Jesus, man, he needs a victory. He needs a big time win to uh, thrust himself into some momentum. So uh, Drew McIntyre's crawling away because he knows that he is afraid of the demon and the demon's about to crush him. So uh, that is uh, Drew McIntyre running down the ramp there. Doubt he'd be scared though. I don't know. The way WWE books heels, they're, they're pretty cowardly. But um, coming into the middle here, we have Braun Strowman. He has, as you can see, um, I, I bet you can't see, but Trash Corbin, he's under there somewhere. You can see his foot right there. He has been buried by a bunch of chairs and a table, and uh, yeah, Braun Strowman just pretty much buried Trash Corbin, literally, and I think this is what's going to happen. I don't expect much out of this match. It is a TLC match, so um, I, I think that Trash Corbin's going to get buried, literally, and they probably will steal this spot, too. I think that, you know, they could literally bury him here. And Braun Strowman's easily going to overcome all those injuries and get the victory. Go on to Brock Lesnar and lose once again. But, uh, I, God, that's just so annoying, guys. Like, get somebody else in the title picture. I'm sick of Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar. Like, can we get a fresh feud? And it's not Trash Corbin that I want to see. That's the last guy I want to see. But this is what I think is going to happen at TLC between the two of them. Coming over here, we have Natalya. She is put through the table by Ruby Riot. Obviously, the Riot Squad doesn't have figures just yet. We are getting one very soon. But uh, she's going through that table that has her dad painted on it or embroidered on it. I think that she is going to lose here. I think that Ruby Riot really needs this win here at TLC. So I think that Ruby Riot will get the win over Natalya by putting her through the table. Moving on down, we do have Elias, and he is going to have a match one on one with Bobby Lashley. No one really cares about this match. Bobby Trashley, I hope he gets smashed with a guitar, literally. Um, because Elias really needs some momentum, he needs to get a victory here, and he's a much better character, much better worker, much better everything than uh, Trashley here, so I think that Elias needs to get this win, bust the guitar over Bobby Lashley's head, and move on. So I think Elias will bust him over the head with that uh, guitar and get a dub at TLC. If we move into the ring, you guys will see Ronda Rousey, the baddest woman on the planet, putting the arm bar onto Nia Jax in the middle of the ring. This is what needs to happen in literally 30 seconds. Nia Jax should not compete, even though they're probably going to have a, you know, a competitive matchup. They, they love to do that to Ronda. But um, I hope the match ends right here with this maneuver, and that is the arm bar being applied to Nia Jax, center of the ring, and Ronda Rousey will retain the Raw Women's Championship. I'm sure we'll get some effery going on, you know, Alexa Bliss, people coming out at ringside. I'm sure something will go down, but Nia Jax ultimately will lose to the armbar to Ronda Rousey. If we go outside the ring, you guys will see the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan being put into the Styles Clash. He doesn't quite have it locked in, but he is working on it there. And AJ Styles is trying to land that Styles Clash, but he can't quite get it. And Daniel Bryan's trying to fight through. I'm sure we'll probably get a spot like this. I don't think there's a stipulation in this matchup, but this is something that he could easily pull out. I think he did it to James Ellsworth at TLC a couple years ago. If it wasn't at TLC, it was definitely on SmackDown Live or something, but that is what's going on right here. AJ Styles trying to hit that Styles Clash off the steel steps to the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan. We have the championship back there. So looking forward to their rematch right there. And in the back, I'm going to probably have to switch camera angles for this. But we have Seth Rollins hitting a frog splash off the ladder onto Dean Ambrose. I know it doesn't look like it right now because we're going to actually attempt to try and drop him on there and get this frog splash on camera. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, maybe from this angle. But the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. The two are going to meet at TLC. I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins have went head-to-head -head a million times, but um, they always have good chemistry. So we're going to see if we can get it here. Um, I'm going to take Seth Rollins by the leg, and we're probably about to experience a botch here, but uh, we're going to see uh, Frog Splash through, off the ladder, through the table, and it worked a little bit. I'll put a little slow-mo in there to see if, oh my god, Bobby Lashley fell. But um, I'll put a slow-mo in there to see, you know, if it actually worked out. But there we have Seth Rollins putting Dean Ambrose through the table with a Frog Splash. Hopefully we get that spot as well. Maybe, uh... Somebody from WWE will check out this video and we'll get a few of these spots on TLC Sunday night. But that pretty much does it for this brand new WWE action figure setup TLC 2018 edition, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of the setup. Um, what are your predictions for TLC? I'm pretty sure that my predictions will be up tomorrow, most likely for TLC. Looking forward to that show, actually, for some reason. I, there's definitely a lot of potential on this card to have a great show, but we'll have to see what happens. A lot of people hated Survivor Series. I actually was a fan of it, so um, I guess we'll have to see what happens. But last year's TLC was atrocious with that main event, the 5-on-3 handicap match with Kurt Angle entering the Shield and everything. That was probably my least favorite moment in WWE history outside of Braun Strowman and Nicholas winning the tag titles at WrestleMania. But 
Uh, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.